Hello everyone, Lego Stacks here, and welcome to the second tutorial of the Computer Craft series. Today, I'm going to be showing you what was in that room down there, as I promised I would. So let's go type on our password, 1234, go inside through our doors, and it's an item vault. It is an item vault. Past this door, we'll be putting our items. And we're going to make this a disk drive, uh, um, let's see here, a key card door. Now, the key card is more advanced than the um, password door here is because a password door is literally just the password, whereas your key card, you put in the key card, which contains the password in a hidden space. So, this is the recipe for the disk drive that you need. If you need the um, the recipe for the computer, I showed it to you in the previous video, but here's the recipe for the disk drive, and here's the recipe for the floppy disk you'll need. So, without further ado, let's grab our floppy disk, and we're going to throw it in this computer. So it's been a little while since my last cut. I just fixed all the issues with this because I did find some issues. So let's throw this um, disk in there. Press and hold shift and then right click. And that throws it in there so you don't have to right click and then place it in that slot. And go to your into your computer, type edit startup. <clears throat> in here, I'm going to type this, but you don't have to. This all depends on where your door is. So I'm going to do set output bottom to true. And then, this matters though. The rest of this matters. While true do, if disk dot is present <coughs> in top, then if fs dot exists, disk slash dot security slash key, oh, I forgot, then shell dot run disk slash dot security slash key if pass equals let me in in the quotes you can put in whatever you want but make sure that you remember that because you're going to need to put it on your disk as well I'm just using let me in because that's the password I want to use so then then rs.set output remember the side of your output is specific to your setup I'm going to do false because of the way my setup is but you sh pr you're probably going to want to do true for your setup and then rs.set output bottom true then <coughs> oh I forgot I almost forgot up here you're going to want to put disk dot eject so the person doesn't have to reach in so, so you don't have to reach in your disk drive then you're going to want to put else disk dot failing disk dot eject top then you're going to want to do else again disk dot eject top then you're wanna, gonna want to do and and then you're going to do sleep for 0.1 this will prevent your program from crashing crashing then you're going to do want to do end control s control e then we're going to do cd disk to go into our disk if you haven't already put in your disk then put in your disk in your, in your disk drive and you're going to want to do mkdir dot security this will create an invisible folder folder because if you see I type dir nothing pops up but it's still there because if you type cd dot security you'll actually go into the fo the folder <coughs> then we're gonna want to do edit um, key make sure that you called it key and I already have the setup but you're gonna want to type in pass equals let me in or inside those quotes the password that you put in the other disk drive reader program. Then you want to do control S for save, then control exit, CD slash, 
eject top that'll give you your um hey that'll give you your floppy disk back then just do reboot <coughs> that will um start your program and then you shift right click puts in your key and you see it open your door make sure that it actually opens your door and then it should close after three seconds so that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please like comment and subscribe as it really helps out my channel and <coughs> when I say comment I mean please put down a comment to, s to tell me what you want to see in the next video well I should say what will most likely be the next video this has been Lego Stacks, and I'm out. I'll see you later.